Hey, what's up you guys? Jack Jack here. So real quickly, this video is footage from one of my streams. In this video, I'll actually show you guys how to build a team box fight map built in around 15 minutes. Hopefully this helps anyone who wants to build a team box fight map. So here you go guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff you guys. And good luck. So what I'm going to do guys. Sorry guys, keep getting distracted. I'm actually going to go ahead and build a team box fight. And I'm actually gonna do it as fast as I can. So it's gonna be like a speed uh, speed build for you guys. So you guys are gonna back out. I'm gonna go ahead and build y'alls a box fight live on stream. I think it's gonna take me 15 minutes. I'm gonna time it. Team box fight. It's not gonna be a tutorial. You know, I'll, I'll probably give you guys an idea on what I'm doing. I don't want to go into full detail, but here we go, you guys. People that are watching the stream, hopefully you guys enjoy. Watch this. I'm going to build a Team Zone Wars as fast as I can. Okay, so first things first, you got to go through settings. Not those settings. You got to go to the creative settings. And you got to change this, voice chat. And then there's going to be teams, and there's going to be two teams. So I'm going to set it to two. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Total rounds, I'm going to set it to ten. Team rotation, rotation, not really mattered. Spawn limit, have it the one time limit, turn that off. I'm gonna put a zone on the zone wars or box fight. Uh, Join in session, spawn the next round. Uh, game start countdown, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna make a, a custom one. Elimination score, not really necessary. That's it for that tab. Go to the settings tab, time of day. You guys know how it is, 4 p.m. Just like that. Starting shield, 100 shield, infinite ammo. Turn that off, infinite resource, turn that off. Here's our important one, guys, environment damage. Turn that off, building can destroy environment. Turn that off. Down but not out, because it's teams, we're gonna turn this on. I'm assuming people will start knocking each other. You know, there's there's a chance that you can even pick up your teammate. So down but not out is on. Glad to redeploy, turn that off. That's really annoying, especially in a box fight. Health granted on elimination. You can choose if you want it or not. I'm gonna set it to 50. UI is how you set up the scoreboard stuff. I just changed this to 10 seconds, 15 seconds, too long. All right, so that is the game settings. So I'm gonna back it up. Anyone who's making creative maps and you have friends that you know join your games and sometimes you give them permissions by accident, always have a, a backup. Always back up your map every good 10, 15 minutes. It's a good practice. You just go fresh, you, you think I sound like fearless? I, I, I heard Fearless's voice and I'm like, I, I do not sound like Fearless. That's crazy. I'm not that mean. I promise. I'm a nice person, okay? I just gotta do it for the content. You feel me? For the content, I'll do anything, bruh. I can't. I don't hear it. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm gonna go yonders over here. Go like this. Plop that there. Again, I'm just trying to do this as fast as possible so I won't get into like crazy detail with the the look of the map. I'm gonna stick with the 7x7. Seven seven. Do, 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 do. So what I just did there, I copied everything at the same time. I'm gonna keep this really simple. Someone just got knocked. Someone's getting bullied in my, my box fight here. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh my god! KO! Okay. Save time, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy one lane like this. Take that. Some floors are actually outside the map. It's alright though. 
No one's gonna see that. Next. Spawn pads. So I've made my box fight 7x7. Seven seven. So it's gonna be... 7 spawn pads each side. Meaning I can only get 14 people in it. Which is fine, you know, you're not expecting to get 16 people in a box fight. It does happen, but rarely. Use a Zylon start, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna have a set to team one. Use kill fresh, you keep on messing up your copy button. Yeah, it takes some practice. I'm not even perfect with it myself. I've been doing this since, since uh, that was even possible. I remember when uh, I was building big maps. I'll actually show you guys uh, OG maps after I'm done this uh, this build. I'll show you guys some OG maps I built a long time ago when uh, Creative was still new and everything was done manually. So if you wanted to build a bunch of walls, you had to do it manually. You couldn't copy and paste. Okay, this is actually supposed to be team two, so I made a mistake. So I'm gonna spawn a few things. We got an explosive device. We got a HUD device. Uh, it puts in the wrong spot. Then what else we need? We need team item spawner. Mutator zone. I like mutator zones, guys. For my maps. Some people there, they're not really into using the mutator. But uh, I, I like the mutator. Check this out, guys. So got the barrier here and we know it's a seven by seven so we're gonna go ahead and set this to it's a five width no it's it's five depth and seven width so it's just like that now we're gonna set this to doo -doo -doo, nebula purple why not so nebula purple actually i don't like that like that. Okay, so now we have the mutator guys. We place this up here. I'm gonna set it to two. And we know the box is seven by seven, so we gotta set the zone depth and width to seven. And there you go. So there's the mutator. It covers up everything. This team zone wars is actually a lot easier than the the free-for-all one just because uh, the spawn pads are all in one spot and all you need is one barrier and one mutator obviously you don't need the mutator but I just I like using it a lot of people mention how they don't need the mutator but uh, the mutator actually stops people from even like pickaxing or even you know shooting their their gun till the game starts so it's, it's a really small feature but I I like having that Okay, so what I gotta do guys is disable when receiving from. I'm gonna set the channel one. Also the same thing with the barrier. Disable when receiving from channel one. There you go. Next, basic storm controller. This is how you set a storm set up a storm, you guys. There we go, that's centered. Wait time will be... Should it be 10 seconds? Now this is like detailed settings you gotta look at and you gotta experiment with the, the zone to figure out the best time and the best sizing for the zone so your game mode works how you want it. I don't want the, the zone to be too fast. I also don't want it to be too slow. This is a team zone wars so you know, I want to give a little bit more time for the players to, you know, work together, you know, flank their opponent instead of just being forced to go into the circle. Damage is 10%. That's fine. 10, 10 damage per second. Delay time. Don't need that. Move time. That's one minute. All right. So that zone is set up. Don't know if it's going to be exactly how I want it, but I'm going to keep it as it is right now. I just gotta do the minor settings for the players for the game to actually work. I gotta disable the the barrier and the mutators, and after that, that's it. That is it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna set up weapons. Traditional weapons for Zone Wars is blue AR and the blue pump. And consumables, we got slurp fish. Some people are using floppers. But let's go ahead and use the minis. In. We need to set up the the sable trigger. And what we're gonna use for a trigger is this barrel. For my tutorial, I actually showed you guys another way to do it. I showed you guys to use the trigger and the sequencer, and that works. It definitely works, as you can tell from the video. But this explosive device will actually make it a lot easier to understand. Um, all you need to do is place down a explosive device and turn off everything on it, pretty much. So blast radius is uh, nothing. And player damage, you definitely want that off. Uh, structure damage, turn that off to zero. Dun, 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 dun. Knock back off. Dun, dun, dun. Then here we go, there's a setting you gotta look at. So time to de detonate from game start. I'm gonna set this to five seconds and play audio don't want to hear that explosion when the game starts so i turned it off play audio don't need that then when exploded transmit on channel one very important there we go so now this explosive device is a trigger So now it'll actually disable the mutator and the, the barrier. I can put uh, this fella here. So this is the hood message device. Sorry guys, I wasn't reading the chat. I was trying to build this map as fast as I can. All right guys, so how long has it been working on this zone wars, wars box fight? It's been roughly 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes, guys. I'm almost done. I just gotta place down these hood messages and I'm done. All right, so we're gonna set up the hood messages. And uh, this is how I set up the, the messages for the start of the game. Time from round start, I'll set the first one. It will be set to one second. Display time will be one second. Uh, play sound will be round countdown. And then the first thing that's going to show up on your screen is three, like so. Next one is going to be a two. So we'll start on the second. Second the display time will be one second. Also, round countdown. Placement really important. Top center. Let's enlarge this extra large. My message disappeared somehow. There's a really weird creative glitch where messages just disappear. See that? One. Okay, it's there now. Weird glitch, man. Weird glitch. Then this will be. It's actually not supposed to be a 1, it's supposed to be a 3, what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? 1 So we set the 3, like so See that glitch you guys? I don't know if you guys see it, but this, this text keeps on disappearing on me Play sound, round countdown Top center So we set to 4 seconds This will be Fight. In all caps. Gotta make sure the text is on large. Play sound will be uh, round start. And the last one will be Go Jack Jack HD. Uh, Go Jack Jack <laughs> HD. It was so funny, you guys. Some of you guys have Code Jack Jack HD on their old maps. When you, when you join and the game starts, it's, it's so funny. 
but uh, I appreciate the support you guys you don't have to do it I don't I don't ask you guys you guys to do it but it just comes to a surprise when I all of a sudden the game starts and all I see is go Jack Jack HD so put text on your map pretty cool oh shoot this guy <laughs> and it's not even it's not even my map I think the map is done you guys I don't think I forgot anything it only took it only took about 18 minutes but it took probably 15 minutes with uh, if I didn't add these hood messages okay that's it I'm done what was it guys it was 15 minutes oh I have match bro <laughs> I forgot something Okay, so what I forgot is is materials. Sorry about that, guys. I gotta do materials, <laughs> materials and uh, ammo. Three, four, five. One, two. It's a good amount of materials, like 700. There you go. So there you go guys, box fight 10 rounds, built in within like 10 to 20 minutes. Control the player! Control the player! Control the player! Control the player! Oh! You trying to heal, buddy? Bop. Oh, that's a 2v1 situation. That's unfair. But yeah, you guys, there you go. Box fight. Team box fight. If you guys want to join, you can join in. We're going to play this for a few more minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little uh, walkthrough on how to build the team zone wars. As you can see, it didn't take that long. All right, you guys. So that is the box fight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I had a little video or a little uh, snippet on the stream. I'll fix that timer thing. I think someone said it was wasn't working how it should. Okay, that's how you fix it. You gotta you gotta look down or click down, then click back up, then confirm. Then it works. So the timer is fixed now, guys. Box is done.